Hello and welcome in Project Design I.O. If you have access to the exercise folders, please open the file indicated here. Otherwise, just watch. You can find free access to the content in the description below. Thank you. In this video, we're going to go through data entry tool. That's the icon indicated here. Once you click data entry, you will have a new window open. You can extend this panel by dragging it up so you can see a bit more. This is great tool to apply changes into multiple circuits at the same time. So for example, this is the, let me, let me increase that a bit more. The panel is divided into the cable group and you've got the load group. They've got slightly different options. Let's say I want to find a ring circuit. Ring circuits are indicated in a load. So I'm going to go to the load, double click on that. Now you see the name panel. You've got ID, which is circuits references. So if you know what circuits you're looking for, you can just find or what this board, if you've got more distribution boards like in here, I can, for example, use filter to filter for kitchen, but I will go not equal to, because that will show me nothing, but contains. Look, and I've got all kitchen circuits only in here now. Let's close that panel, see? What if I want all rings? Let's remove the filter, clear filter. Let's say I want all rings in the whole installation. So I'm going to type in ring and also choose contains. Now that's all rings in my whole installation. What we can do with this, you can change load to multiple circuits at the same time or double check installation. Look, I've got four circuits which are fitting the same equipment. Therefore the load should be the same as it, and it is. So I'm kind of using it to verify whether my data is correct. I can also sort by name by clicking on the header. So I select filtered for a ring and I then sort it by name. Part factor, check whether it's correct to the same circuits. I've got hot cupboard part factor one. That's because there's a heating element. That's correct. That's what I would expect. Setting of diversity 0.5, yeah. And the general ring, yeah. That sounds good. So I could select two circuits and change diversity of on both to say 0 0.6. And then it, the window will pop in asking me whether I want to make the change. I say yes. And you see both circuits are changed. Okay, I didn't want to make that change. I'm going to go back 0 0.5 and 0 0.2. Okay, for example, I just want submains. I've got a few options to how I can search for it. I can either select the ones I want, you know, one at a time, but that may be slow. What I can do instead, what if I say starts with one filter and I've got all my subnames now, you see? Differently does not contain DB. I will achieve the same objective, you see? The user filter has a great flexibility. If your installation is very complex, if you use consistent naming, you will be able then to find the group of circuits quickly using this tool and apply changes into them together. Okay, we've got all the submains and I want to make sure all my submains are, for example, multi-core or single-core. I can now press the header to sort the data by cable type. So I've got single-core non-magnetic armored, multi-core 90 degree armored, and then single-core 70. Let's say this cable, I know it's a 90 degree cable, not 70, both of them. So I can select both circuits with shift and then I will change single core 90 degree non-magnetic armor and apply that change. And that will apply the change to both of the circuits. That's a very, very quick way of working. Each time you change the tab, the filters are being cleared. So you will have to apply the filter again. Just go through them, for example, grouping, filter, close. I can see connected to and from, whether the cables are power or not, grouped, yes, no, and then number cables in group. And I can quickly change grouping factor. Let's say I decide that all of them are grouped with 
four cables, right? Look, that's applied to all of them. Same as methods of installation, you can apply that to multiple circuits. Protection, that's useful without actually applying filters. I, I sort by type. I can see I've got some generic fuses. Maybe you want to change them to something else. Some of them are in auto. Maybe that's not ideal. That's not what you want to do. You want this installation to be fixed. Let's see if we fix the installation. I may have some errors. This video is not about errors. Let's go back to construction. Uh, it's still in auto. No, it's actually 100. Okay, so it just needed to refresh. I've got those three breakers, thermomagnetic, and I want to change all of them into MicroLogic. And I can't see NSX. Let's see my, if I've got filters, preferred, supported, uh, obsolete. That's not obsolete. I don't know why it was hidden. Probably glitch in the software. Anyway, I want to go into NSX 100N. And instead of thermomagnetic, I want to go MicroLogic 2.2. There's no 80 amp cycle. 100. Yes, apply. I just realized there is a limitation. You can change the trip unit and trip size, but you can't change its settings. It doesn't let you change the setting of the each individual trip. So you will have to go to it and change it manually if you, if you needed to. Seems like there is a limitation. But let's say naming, you can sort by name and then check if your naming is consistent. It looks consistent to me. But you can also apply the change to the circuits at the same time. Look, SSP. I just, whatever, I just added something. So just to indicate that I can change the name. You go yes. And that name will be revised to multiple circuits. Very powerful tool. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much for watching.